Hello, welcome to ProDrive again. I want to introduce another new model. This is the new 50 horse ProDrive. This is a unique engine. We were trying to, with this engine, we were trying to give people another alternative to the air cooled engine and have something that's a little more protected from the environments with the cover, quieter, and instant throttle response. What we did here was, if you notice, this lower unit is exactly the same as the new style lower unit I just explained in an earlier video, which this one has ProDraw's full power reverse where you can spin the foot around. It has the prop reverse, you know, so it has all those new features. So you can do everything you did with any current ProDraw with this lower unit. So you have a 50 horsepower marine power head, which is proven. So everything underneath this cover and this crawling and this tiller handle is a marine engine. It's made for the application. What we did to convert it to run all the areas that current mud motors, including ProDrive, run is we, we pretty much got the power head, the crankshaft has been increased in diameter specifically for ProDrive, and we make our own sump, okay? Which means the bottom of the engine, why we made the sump was to redirect exhaust, which typically goes through the foot of a outboard and out the prop. The water pickup is through the lower unit, through the center section, and the oil is in, the, in your sump here. So we, we redirected the oil on a four stroke through the sump into an oil tank for your four stroke engine. We redirected the exhaust, which is pretty apparent, it comes out here. Then we redirected the water. This is the biggest question I have with a lot of people. How is this thing cool? Some people think it's still picked up from the bottom, which it's not. It's a what we call a closed loop water system. So in other words, it circulates through a keel cool, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Keel cools are used in ships, large work boats, mud boats around South Louisiana instead of using radiators, and some air boats. So what we did to keel cool it is we had an aluminum extrusion made. This extrusion is about eight inches wide, about a half inch thick, and we tack it to the bottom of the boat. Just tack to the bottom boat. So if you have any smooth bottom boat without crimps, this can be added to your current boat by just tack welding it. And there's two, there's an inlet and an outlet that comes in the back for your water to go in and your water to come back out and go into the engine. So if you look, there's gusses in this extrusion. All right, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, as that water goes in, that water's circulating through these channels. And the bottom of, let's say it's water, wet mud, lilies, all that's dissipating that heat as it's circling back and forth. And then it goes back into the engine. So it's a very simple system and it's all self-contained. You know, we're gonna have coolant in here for up north, but jet skis also, I forgot to mention, jet skis actually have a little pad, a little keel cool on the bottom of them and that's how they're cool. So that's how it's cool. It goes in and there's a pump. The pump is uh, thermostat regulated. The manufacturer likes this engine to run, I think around 165 degrees. So that pump, as it's running, that pump won't activate until it's at least that temperature. And it'll regulate itself throughout the day. You know, it'll stop running when it needs to. So what this gives you is actually the reliability and the instant throttle response. The neat feature about this, not only is this sealed and protected from the elements, is it's very quiet. So again, in short, you know, we wanted to offer something that somebody could ha get, have a quiet engine, reliable, covered from the elements, and was actually proven on water for years and years. And we think we did it with this engine. Now I'm gonna start it up to give you an example on how quiet this engine is. But when, what you're eliminating with this engine is you're eliminating the flywheel fan on an air-cooled engine. So that's a lot of your noise people don't realize. The flywheel fan spinning right by your head makes a lot of noise. Then you have your exhaust, which is 
as quiet as they can make them. Well, I'm going to start this up and show you how quiet this engine is. Alright. Right here, I'm talking, I can talk over this engine, it's quiet. You don't have that flywheel fan noise, the muffler is very quiet. I'll give it a little throttle just to give you an example of what it sounds like. So, if you notice that and you've been around outboards all your life, Pretty much what an outboard sounds like. Not only that, when you get in any outboard versus an air-cooled mud motor, when you give, let's say you got a 50 or a 60 horse outboard on a on a flat bottom John, you give that outboard throttle, what happens? It immediately jumps up. This does the same thing. Torque is non-existent on it. So you you have all the features of an outboard, the, the good things that you like, with the versatility of having a pro drive lower unit that can run mud, full power reverse, and shift reverse all in one package. 